looks like the WBC where we sell Suleiman is on a roll with the ordering fights. You know, he's been really trying to lay down the law, bro, when it comes to trying to skip over mandatories and do all kind of stuff. But WBC, man, they, uh, one fight that they have ordered is Shakur Stevenson versus Isak Cruz at 135 pounds. Uh, as y'all already know, uh, Shakur Stevenson vacated his straps at 130. Uh, he's a big boy. He says he was struggling to make weight because he missed the weight last time. He was struggling to make the weight at 130. So uh, he moving up and jumping right into the Sharks take of 135 pounds. And uh, his first uh, test at 135 is looking like uh, Isak Cruz. That is what WBC is ordering. So... We don't know for sure yet. That's what I'll make a prediction if that fight becomes a thing. And, you know, I know a lot of y'all already got your own opinions on who wins that fight. But this fight is very interesting, man, because you got an Isak Cruz that's been proven has a goddamn, damn near granite chin. As you look at his freaking head, it is literally like a pit bull. It's, it's, his bone structure is just he has a, a, a roblox lego head man. i mean he he has a, a, he's if if you say hey if you say a boxer has a chin you'll see his face right there in the dictionary bro uh come forward dude has power and you know shakur stevenson he's been criticized in the past for his fights being boring Similar to Devin Haney, these two are, are the main boxers that get picked on when it comes to uh, their fights, their fighting style. But you know, like I said, the art, the name of the game is to hit and not be hit. And it's the sweet science, baby. Nobody said you got to stand there and get punched on. That's not, that's, I mean, come on. You know, but to the, for fans, you know, we like seeing stuff like that. But, I mean, that's not how it works. That's not how it's supposed to be, at least. But you got Shakur. Uh, who has questionable power people just like David Haney question his power and they've been questioning his power at 130 uh, and at uh, the lower weight class 126 so now he's stepping it up he got guys that's hitting harder did at 130 bigger stronger and Shakur himself uh, I believe um, I never thought he didn't have any punching power. I just thought that he didn't sit down on a lot of his punches. You know, he was like he was in and out a lot. You know, he wasn't really planting his feet as much all the time. He picks his times when he does plant his feet a lot. When he when he decides to, he does plant his feet. He does have some power. And just uh, you know, it's not really resonating. Maybe the weight, the weight cut was fucking with him. But I think at 135, we'll see what he could do against Isak Cruz if that is his first fight. But we'll see how, how his punches affect Isak Cruz. But, you know, I'm not sure if it will, you know, because Isak is tough. T took takes punches. So, uh, Shakur would probably have to rely on his ability to move and stuff like that. And we'll see. This is interesting. Man. I can't wait. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a test. And Shakur said, hey, look, I don't duck smoke, man. I don't duck smoke. Let's get it. And that's Newark. That's Newark for you, baby. Anyway, I want to know what y'all think about the fight between, uh, potential fight between Shakur Stevenson and Isak Cruz, ordered by the WBC at 135 pounds. This is your boy Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all on the next one, and I'm out. Peace.